with inflation running well above our longer run goal of 2% and with labor market conditions remaining tight, the FOMC has significantly tightened the stance of monetary policy. We've raised our policy interest rate by five percentage points since early last year and have continued to reduce our securities holdings at a brisk pace. Nearly all FOMC participants expect that it will be appropriate to raise interest rates somewhat further by the end of the year. But at last week's meeting, considering how far and how fast we've moved, we judged it prudent to hold the target range steady to allow the committee to assess additional information and its implications for monetary policy. In determining the extent of additional policy firming that may be appropriate to return inflation to 2% over time, we will take into account the cumulative tightening of monetary policy, the lags with which monetary policy affects economic activity, inflation, and, and inflation, economic, and financial developments. The U.S. banking system is sound and resilient. As detailed in the box on financial stability in the monetary policy report, the Fed, together with the Treasury and the FDIC, took decisive action in March to protect the U.S. economy and to strengthen public confidence in our banking system. The recent bank failures, including that of Silicon Valley Bank and the resulting bank stress, have highlighted the importance of ensuring that we have the appropriate rules and supervisory practices for banks of this size. We are committed to addressing these vulnerabilities to make for a stronger and more resilient banking system.